My name is Jason Fuminchi. You are now watching the presentation for Architecture Design Studio 2. In this video, you will present and explain about the concept team residence specially designed for our artists or celebrities client. And the design concept is based on their characteristics in terms of their occupation, their artwork styles, can characteristics and the beliefs. This is, my, this is my client. His name is Lat. He's a famous Malaysian cartoonist. The main key use of the house of this project is a vacation house. It serves as the secondary residence for client to spend his holiday times in Klangvari area. This house is ideal living for maximum four persons, his family member and close friends. The house consists of functional space as a conventional house and also with the additional space as a drawing studio for clients to produce his work based on his profession. And the concept to, to design the house for the artist, the client, will be we are adopting a new traditional concept. This concept is a combination of the traditional Malay architecture and contemporary architecture. For the traditional Malay architecture elements, I will adopt the special organizations which is based on the traditional Malay house. And also the house will be built on the steel, which will be elevated, which is an icon for the Malay architecture. While the contemporary architecture, we are using modern facades, such as the large openings, and the installing of modern amenities and services, and introducing a construction, new construction method, modern construction methods such as bricks, concrete, and steel. There are six strategies to achieve my concept. First is elevated floor. The house will be on steel prayer flood water, and this elevated floor could optimize the ventilation of the house. The second is special organization. Private space will be, such as bedroom, will be located at the rear of the house. And the public space for gatherings, for entertaining guests, such as living rooms, veranda, and porch, will be located at the front of the house near the main entrance. The third is the view. The house will be, have an expensive view, and large openings, and such as a curtain wall. And the fourth is a, about circulation issues. High pitch we adopt and also ventilation uh, air vents to allow the hot air escapes and the ventilation of the air. The extended overhangs to provide uh, sheddings and against the wind driven rain. New construction materials, modern construction materials such as reinforced concrete, brick, limestone, and the steel beam as a skeleton structure. Okay. And the design process development stage consists of four stages. First stage, at least stage four plans. The layout is more linear and uh, all the space are connected to each other. At the second stage, the layout is more reflected. Space are separated into four uh, blocks and the bedroom will be moved to the rear part of the house. And the drawing studio will be isolated from others and only accessible to the and only accessible via the deck, only one path accessible. Since a drawing studio is provided a space for clients concentrate his work, less pack, less path, less accessibility, and less distraction for clients. And the third stage is based on the second stage. Same is the same space planning arrangement, but the modification on the roof with large overhang. And the finalized design is also based on the third stages but we adopt a new facade materials and also lower panel in store as a as circulation van. And based on this, this floor plans, the wind indicated with the blue arrows can be entered into the house with the openings such as windows and sliding doors, while the red arrow is indicate the circulation path for the owner. The main entrance will be a north side of the house since follow the path of the red arrow, first we enter through the porch, then inside the house is the veranda, and that's a living room, and they will be separate with the, the transition space, a deck, and next is proceed to the kitchen and dining room, and also separate with the deck, a transitional space, then they will be proceed into the bedroom, while the uh, drawing studio is have to only, only accessible to the deck 
and there's a one path towards the drawing studio. The design approach, the wall will be, brick wall will be used as a facade for living room and kitchens, display the nature beauty and rustic roofs. And kitchen we're using a brick wall, it's suitable for cooking area which the grease is my, and the stain by clung into the wall is easy to clean. Uh, for the timber and cladding wall, it'll be used for the bedroom block and the drawing studio block. Since bedroom and drawing studio is a place for client to have a concentrate and timber texture is create a warm, comforting and catching experience. Timber and brickwork is good in the installation properties. It may reduce energy consumption of the building. And timber louvers will be erected along the deck. So it could partially block the sunlight and create a shadow stripes. Uh, an aesthetic repetition uh, arrangement of shadow stripes will be reflected on the floor. And these louvers bars used as a barrier to remind the user who will walk along the deck, notify there's a drop edge at the at deck. And placing this louver might avoid install long perimeter of railings, so the space of the deck might not look so confined with the railings. And the metal, metal ventilation louvers installed below the roof. And the large roof overhangs is cover the transitional space, allows the Clients can walk from one functional space to another space and cover from exposed of sun and rain. And this main drawing side plant, there's a crystal lake and a great stepping stone at the west and the pond and as a reservoir at the east of the site. The house is built on the sides of a grass area and there's a dirt road accessible to the site. And based on these four plants, as a vegetable patch is beside the house, allow the house owner to grow vegetables or fruits for their own consumptions. This idea is derived from the traditional Malay kampong lifestyle, emphasis on self-sufficiency principle. Gravel walkways can walk around the house, and the paved parking space allow to park the car. And for the bedroom block, the master bedrooms, it consists of walk-in closets and it's its own bathroom. Well, for the guest bedrooms, it's quite similar to master bedroom, but without the wall in closets, but it's still equipped with a bedroom, a bathroom. It's not in south elevation. It's a west elevation. It's a living room. The From this section view, the foundation is about 1,500 mm depth. The floor will be raised about 600 mm. The sink height will be 3,500 mm to optimize the ventilations, the air ventilations. This is, and this is a sectioned view. And the roof to the foundation details. For the external interior perspective view, this is the east elevation of the house. And this is a view of the deck from the living room. It's a view of the deck from the bedroom block. And this space is a main entrance and also serves as a porch to entertain the guests. And the west elevations, you can see the studio with the large glass openings. And this is the deck covered with the timber louvers. And the perspective view interior drawing studio, the floor and the wall is by Timbo, reduce unnecessary decorations and it's more Spartan. And the bedrooms with the Timbo wall. Our living room and kitchen room and dining room will be adopted a brick wall. And this is the presentations. Thanks for watching.